Okay, let's have a look at uh, section 1.1, main parts of a jet ski, and let's take a walk around our uh, display model. Just at the front here, we've got our uh, chain and our strap. Obviously, we never take that off until the ski is in the water, backed in down the boat ramp. Okay, the amount of uh, skis we've seen end up on the on the uh, boat ramps because people have taken them off beforehand. Okay, as we move down this side of the ski, uh, our starboard side, obviously we've got our, our registration stickers. They are on both sides of the ski, not just on the starboard side, on both sides of the ski. As we move down towards the stern of the uh, jet ski, uh, we come down here, around behind the, uh, down the back here, we have the bungs. Okay, now you need to make sure these are put in before you start off every time. Uh, obviously take them out afterwards to drain any uh, water out. Uh, but make sure they're definitely put in before you uh, leave the, uh, put it in the water. Uh, we have got our jet unit here, but we'll talk about that later. As we come uh, back around over to this side, um, we certainly have our registration numbers on this side as well. Obviously this being the port side, we would have our registration sticker here, but obviously this being a new ski, we haven't received that from Queensland Transport yet but we will be putting that on, either probably there or there, but somewhere close to the registration numbers. Okay, let's have a look at some parts of the jet ski, okay? We'll just come around this side, and just at the front here, we've got our front hatch that we can lift up. Obviously, there's plenty of storage in there. This is where we would put our jet, our, our safety equipment, um, any stuff that we wanted to carry for the day, water, that sort of stuff, would go into the front compartment here. There's quite a bit of room in there, um, so there's quite a bit that can be fitted in there. Uh, as we move down towards here, we've obviously got mirrors on our jet ski. Look, mirrors are not a great thing. They're good to have a quick look, but mainly we would use shoulder checks when we're on the ski. Always using your shoulder checks to check if anything's behind you. Uh, we come down here, we've got our engine. Uh, obviously this is like a car engine. It's just a small car engine. It needs servicing. Okay, remember we always check anything that's got yellow on it, we can check. Anything that's got red on it, we don't touch. Okay, but obviously get your, get your uh, owner's manual out, check your owner's manual and see how often it does need to be serviced. Alright, so we're going to hop on the ski. So as we come up, obviously make sure you've always got a jacket on before you hop on the ski. Especially if you're in the water. If the police or the uh, transport department see you without a jacket on, uh, in the water they will find you. Okay, so once we're on, obviously every ski is very similar. They will have a lanyard, a kill switch. Okay, this is it here. Obviously ours just plugs up underneath here. So whilst it's running, obviously if we pull the lanyard out, it will kill the, the engine. Okay, we need to make sure of this so if we fall off the ski as we are out on the water, we don't have the ski driving off into the distance. So you want to make sure this is working before you get on the ski. Okay, we can hit that stop button and that'll start the computer up. Now, obviously if we hit it again, it's going to start that engine. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is our throttle. It's this one here. Some of them have a, a finger throttle like this one, some are a thumb throttle, um, but they're all a little bit different, but it's just about getting used to the one you've got. Okay, obviously we do have more than two speeds. It's not just that and flat out, there is in between, and that's cruising. Okay, let's have a look at the gauges here. Okay, every ski is different. Every ski has different gauges. This one, we have revs, we have speed, we have uh, fuel, oil, all that sort of stuff. So. Every ski is different, you need to go to your manual, your, your uh, manufacturer's manual to find out and read all about it. On the steering here, we've got different modes that we can put the ski in. Okay, depending on your ski, again, go to your manufacturer's manual to find out uh, all these things. Okay, this is the bucket of the ski. Okay, the, what the bucket does is it drops down over the, over the water being propelled out of the back of the ski, which either gives it neutral or reverse. If it only comes down halfway, it's going to be in neutral. If it comes down the whole way, it's going to be in reverse. Now that'll be done by a cable style one up near the steering wheel, or maybe even an electronic style one. Obviously read your manufacturer's manual again to check that out and see what your ski is. Okay, so there's more detailed information below. Just please read that before you move on to the next section.